Representative Lomer, thank you for joining us today. You're welcome. Can you describe your district and tell us in what ways you and your district are similar? My district is 39B, which is East Metro, so um, the communities of Pine Springs and Grant, Lake Elmo, Stillwater, Oak Park Heights, Bayport, Baytown, West Lakeland, Lakeland, Lake St. Croix Beach, Lakeland Shores, and St. Mary's Point. So 13 communities right along the St. Croix River. It's a beautiful district. What is your occupation outside the legislature? I, for years, was a homemaker and homeschool mother of my four sons. Uh, before that, I was a um, medical office administrator before I started having children. My oldest son was born with a disability, and so um, it, I needed to be home with him and was fortunate enough to be able to stay home with my, my kids. And since uh, they're grown now and I'm doing this, I'm volunteer in my community, work in my church, um, and, and focus a lot on my district. What legislation have you worked on in the past that you are most proud of? Well, last year I had um, the opportunity to help get, not get, but help keep a million dollars in the HHS budget for a program that I think is very important called Minnesota Adult and Teen Challenge. Uh, when we were in the majority Previously, we had given them a million dollars to open a center in Rochester, and the current majority decided to take that money back. And so I met with the governor, had lots of members on both the DFL side and the Republican side sign a letter to the governor, just stating how important this um, organization is and how successful it is treating people with um, addictions. And uh, the governor agreed and kept that money in. So I was very proud of that. and able but proud of the fact that I was able to uh, help that organization because they help a lot of people and give a lot of hope to folks. Why did you initially decide to run for office as a representative? Well, it was in 2008. Actually, I've been um, very involved in the party for many, many years, always going to caucuses and being del a delegate and going to the conventions. But in 2008, our second son was serving a 15-month deployment in Iraq. And he's a captain in the Army. And I just remember thinking a lot about how much he was willing to sacrifice because he loved our country. And I do, it did a lot of complaining about the way things were going. And I thought, maybe it's time for me to stop complaining and try to do something about it. So I put my hat in the ring. And there were three people running for endorsement in 2008. And I won that endorsement. But I lost that election. And so in 2010, I thought, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to try again. And, and I won that election, and I won in 12, and here I am. If given the chance, who would you like to be for a day, or who would you like to exchange roles with? Well, I think it would be fun to just be the president for a day, just to see what the day of a president looks like, you know, and the different meetings and different dignitaries and different important things that, that they face every day. It, just, it would be interesting just to get a real insider view of that. Not that I have any <laughs> desire to be president, but just be fun for a day. 